How can that be you? Yes, I was disconnected before. Sorry? I was disconnected before. You were just disconnected, okay. And uh, will you tell me that what's your first and last name so I can have your record? I was Charlie Lau. Charlie Rent, right? Charlie Lau. L A U. All right. All right. And you know that there's an outstanding text liability under your name, right? Uh, that's what they told me, yeah. All right. So we just need to know that, sir, we are starting with the legal proceeding right now. So do you have any criminal lawyer who can represent you inside the courthouse? Uh, no, I don't. And have you ever been briefed about this case before or not? I think the, the person was reading this stuff and then we got disconnected. All right. So, Mr. Lau, the reason is that you have an outstanding tax liability of $1,400 right now. Okay. And the IRS department had decided to sue you in the courthouse for more than $40,000. Wow. But you I only owe 1400 you say? Yes, sir. But they like to sue you for more than $40,000 oh, wow. because you have not paid your taxes on time. Okay. We came to an audit and it came out that you have not paid your taxes from 2010 to 2015. Okay. <laughs> All right. So they, can I have your last number who can represent you inside the courthouse? I don't have a lawyer. Sorry? I don't have a lawyer. So make sure that within like 40 to 45 minutes, you will get an arrest warrant and you will get the police at your home, all right? But I didn't do anything wrong, really. Sorry? I didn't do anything wrong. Yes, sir. You have not paid the taxes. There's an outstanding tax liability of $1,432. We have done an audit and it shows that from 2010 to 2015, you have not paid the taxes of $1,425. Oh. You're getting me? Yeah, okay. All right. So in this situation, what would you like to do, sir? Uh, I don't know what am I, what can I, what are my choices? Sorry? I don't know, I'm very nervous. What are my choices? See, sir, I just like to ask you some questions, okay? Okay. Better if you answer me correctly, all right? Okay. Have you ever been arrested in USA for any criminal records? Uh... No, I haven't. All right. And have you ever been arrested in USA for any money laundering case? No. All right. Good. And do you have any pending judgments against your name in any country court? No. Uh, no problem, Mr. Law. If you want, then then I will talk with my senior supervisor that okay. they will help you out in this situation, okay? Okay. Just hold on for a moment. Okay. This is the Senior Chief Investigation Officer, Mike Jones. How can I help you? Uh, I think I owe tax, they said. Sorry? They, they said I owe tax of $1,400. Uh, can I have your first name and your last name? That may I know who am I speaking with? Charlie? Charlie and... Lau, uh, L-A-U. Lau, L-A-U. Okay. Hi, Mr. Lau. This is the officer, chief investigation officer of the IRS, Mike Jones. How can I... They, some guy said I owed $1,400. Okay. So, what's your intention to do about the situation? Uh, I thought maybe I could pay like 400 
Sorry? I thought maybe I could negotiate and pay 400 Right now you don't have that much money with you? I do, but I, I don't really want to pay at all. You do have that much problem, you have to pay this off. Uh-huh. So you can't negotiate? I can... Nope. Uh. Is it a fish market or what? This is the IRS office. It's not a fish market that you are going to uh, negotiate with the... Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, so... <clears throat> it's about $1,400, am I right? That's what the man told me. Okay, no problem. So do you have this much amount with you? Uh, no, I'd have to get it at the bank. You have this much amount in your bank account? Yes. So what you want to do? Do you want to resolve this matter or do you want to take this matter legally inside the courthouse and sue you for $96,000 inside the courthouse as a penalty amount? Can you tell me that? What's your intention to do about the situation? Why would it be 96000 That sounds... It's a penalty amount inside the courthouse. Penalty amount is, is, <clears throat> is safe, uh, same for each and every person of the United States. Hmm. That sounds high. 96000 Yeah, I know that. Uh, but penalty amount, it's it's for safe. Uh, okay, uh, right now what you want to do? Tell, can you tell me that? My just uh, my authority told me that you want to resolve it, uh, resolve this matter outside the courthouse. Am I yeah, right? Yes. Okay, so you have this much money in your bank account, one thousand four hundred and twenty nine dollars. Yes. Okay, so uh, for the. If you want to resolve this matter outside the courthouse, you have to strictly follow some rules and condition of the, <clears throat> sorry, of the procedure. Uh, okay. Are you willing to fulfill all the uh, terms and conditions? What are they? Okay. Uh, the first condition is you cannot disclose this matter anyone else because if you are going to disclose this matter, then crime rate will go high. Like, like the IRS is going to give you the resolvement option, then the crime rate will go high. You can understand that? So you cannot uh, disclose this uh, matter to the third party. Okay. okay. And the second condition is, you cannot put me on hold, you cannot put me on mute until and unless you make this payment. Okay. You have to be online with me. Right. Okay. And the third condition is that you have to make this payment by your own, by having the electronic gift card voucher. Oh, okay. Okay. So are you willing to uh, fulfill the, uh, the three terms and conditions? Yes, yes. Okay, so are you dressed up or you want to dress up? Uh, yeah, I'm dressed. You are dressed. So start away uh, to your bank. Do you have a car with you? Uh, yeah, I have a car. Okay, so just start away to your bank. Uh, take this money from your bank account. Uh, 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 take the hard cash from your bank account, like $1,400, and just let me know. But meanwhile, you have to be online with me. Okay. Okay, no, now don't disconnect this call. You can just put me on phone when you reach the card. When you start the card, just tell me that I'll just start my card to work with my bank. Okay, hold, hold on. I'm going to the car. Okay. okay. Hello? Yep. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Just start your way to your, towards your bank. Are you ready or not? Uh, almost. Hello? Yes. What you are doing right now? What you are doing right now, sir? What are you doing? Hello? Yeah? Sorry? What are you doing right now? Getting in the car. Okay. Start to uh, start away towards your bank. Okay. Okay, I'm pulling into the bank. Sorry? I'm pulling into the bank. Okay, so are you in bank right now? Uh, I'm walking into the bank. Okay, no problem. Uh, just take this money and just let me know. I can um, take this money, let me know when you are in the car. I can give you the further information where you have to go. Okay? Okay. Hold on. Yeah, I need to uh, 
uh, I believe Gerald are here. So this is actually doing it there again with make making with Joel and the uh okay. And the rest of the bank in the okay. Is there anything else I can do for you today? Yeah? Okay, have a nice day. Hello? Yes. Hello? Yes, are you there? Yes, I have the money now. Do you have the money with you? Yes. Okay, so can you provide me a current postal code so that I can find out nearby <clears throat> electronic gift card voucher store uh, for you? Yep, 07652. Uh, just wait for a moment. Okay. Zero? Seven. Zero, seven, six, five, two. Am I right? Right. Okay, just wait for a moment. Mm. Do you have near by any past by near you? Any what? Do you have any nearby past by store? Uh no. Uh Walmart? Uh yeah, it's not not too close. It's about ten miles. So okay, let me find out. Uh, let me find the nearest store uh, of yours, okay? Okay. Please don't hold on. Are you there? Yes. Uh, I'm just finding a nearby pass by store for you, okay? So please go hold for a moment. Okay. Hello? Hello. Uh, is it, is the, uh, your currency code is 07652, am I right? Yes. Okay, let me find out. Just please go hold for a moment. It will just okay. take a few seconds. Okay. Hello? Yes. Mr. Uh, Hello? Can you give me a Westfield Garden State Plaza? Uh, private Thomas Nijas with a postal code at 07652. Is it near you? Yes. That's close by. So, go out to your door and just let me know. When you want to talk to me the Westfield, just let me know, okay? I'm having trouble hearing you now. Uh, uh, just reach the west field and let me know. When you reach the parking lot of the uh, west field, just uh, inform me that I'll just, uh, just reach the parking lot of the west field and what I have to do next, okay? Okay. Okay, but meantime, you have to be online with me. Just put your phone on a speaker phone. No, you you back? no, no, I don't want you, I don't want you to disconnect this line. You just have to uh, be online with me. Yeah. Drive towards the west first and let me know. When I was you reach the parking it, there, there's an IRS office right nearby in, in, a, in a nearby Sorry? town. There's an IRS office. Should I just? I think I'm just going to go there and drop off the money. Right now, right now. Listen to me. You have to make this payment by your own. As soon as you make this payment, I'm just setting an appointment for you in the nearest IRS office, and they will be giving you some information that what this case means, uh, how this case come up to you, and sorry. <clears throat> And they will just give you the information that you will not be doing mistakes in the future. Okay? So just drive toward the Westfield and just let me know when you reach the parking lot of the Westfield. Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on. Are you there? Hello? Yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm, I am. I'm pulling into the courthouse. Sorry? I'm pulling into the courthouse right now. You are in the courthouse right now? Yeah, I'm outside the courthouse. Why are you court outside the courthouse? Because you said before that... I just you tell you that you have to go to the Westfield and buy the electronic gift card voucher. I can just uh, register that voucher under your name and the, your case be... Okay? So you have to go to the Westfield first of all. Okay, I thought you said that we were going outside no. the courthouse. I just told you that go to the Westfield first. Okay. Uh, Westfield. Oh, okay. 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 How much? Uh, how much time is it going to take? Ten minutes. Okay, no problem. Okay. Uh, please be on hold for a moment. Uh, please be on line with me. Don't disconnect this line. Okay.
Leslie Lau. Hello? Yes. Are you there? Yes, I got disconnected. You just got disconnected? Okay, no problem. Have you reached the Westfield? Yes, I'm at the uh, the Westfield Plaza now. Sorry? I'm at Westfield Plaza. Okay, no problem. Uh, now, the what I'm going to do is I'm just... Uh, do you have a pad and a piece of paper? Uh, yeah, yes. Okay, just grab the pen and piece of paper. I'm just going to give you some information. Just note down that. Okay. Okay. Go, go ahead. Okay. Uh, now, what you want to do is just buy the electronic gift card voucher. Okay. 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 And the gift card voucher was of iTunes. I, have you heard about the company named iTunes? Yeah. What does the IRS have to do with iTunes? I'm just giving the information. We do, we have the tie uh, we have the tie up with that with that company. That are you putting me the on? Payment, uh, let me speak, sir. We have the tie up with the iTunes that the payment has been done from your iTunes. Meanwhile, that you are going to register this watch under your name. And okay. Uh, that doesn't are you following sound, me? That doesn't sound on the level. Sorry. I think you're uh, playing around with me. No, I am not. iTunes, that's music. Hello? Yeah, that's music, iTunes. That's not the IRS. So, we do have the tie-up with the iTunes card, okay? And we have to register this iTunes card under your name. And we are not taking this money from you, okay? You do. You have the iTunes card with you. You have to receive of the iTunes card which you are going to the uh, by the uh, ID, which you are using for buying the iTunes card, okay? You have the uh, receipt of it, you have the iTunes card with you, you don't have to worry about this, that we are going to take this money from you. You have the money with you, okay? Yes. Okay, so go to the Best Buy inside the Westfield and ask for iTunes. And you, how much money do you have with you? It's $1,400, am I right? 14.29, you said. 14.29, am I right? So right. you have to do one thing. You can just uh, go to the Best Buy and ask for iTunes. You have to take a hundred uh, hundred dollars of iTunes card with you, and mm, it will cost you around. You have to take fourteen cards, fourteen cards of hundred dollars and one card of twenty nine dollars. Okay, fourteen. And how 14 many cards? Card of hundred dollars and twenty nine dollars of one. Fourteen cards. Fourteen card of hundred dollars. Okay. Yes. Okay, and if 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 the uh, store customer asks you that uh, what the reason we are behind you have to take the IT, okay, you just have to inform that it's for my personal use. As I told you in the affidavit and the terms and condition of the uh, payment uh, payment procedure that you don't have to disclose this matter to any third party, okay. Okay. And if you have a picture that they are going to charge you a more thirty percent extra money of these iTunes card voucher, and this money directly go to the uh, Westfield. Okay? You mm -hmm. just have to tell them it's for my personal use. So what, what is the IRS going to do with the iTunes? Are you going to play, play music? So the thing is I'm going to I'm telling you that what I'm going to do is with the iTunes card. I'm just going to register that the vouchers, uh, registration number which you have the behind the iTunes voucher. And make sure that the iTunes card which uh, have the uh, scratching panel behind that card. Okay. What store am I going into? Hello? Yes. Can you speak to me? I don't know how to hear you. I don't know what store I'm looking for. Am I looking for a gift bar? Uh, no. yeah. What you want to do, you just have to uh, go to the Best Buy, okay, in the West Bay. And ask them for iTunes, the iTunes card which have a scratching panel behind the cards, okay? And tell them I need a hundred dollars of fourteen cards and fourteen cards of hundred dollars and twenty nine dollars of one, okay? And make sure that you cannot disclose uh, disclose this matter to anyone's third party. You cannot tell them that I am just making this payment to the IRS because if you are going to tell them that if I am making this money to the uh, payment to the IRS, they will charge you thirty percent extra amount of the card. That means you have to pay a more amount which you are supposed to pay. Okay, so you cannot disclose this uh, matter to the to them, Westfield, uh, Westfield uh, people that you are going to pay this uh, money to the IRS. Just go there 
and just take, grab the card and let me know. Okay, I'm walking into the store right now. Okay, you are walking into the store right now. And make sure that the iTunes card which you are going to buy, it have a scratching panel behind the card. Oh, it's a scratch off? Yeah, scratching panel behind the card, yes. Okay, uh, okay. Sit tight, okay. hold on. I'm going to, I found the, uh, the rack with the cards. Like, I take 15 of them? Sorry? I take 15 cards off this thing? Yes, you have to take 15 cards of the iTunes. Okay, hold on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And don't forget to take the receipt of this iTunes card, okay? Don't what? And don't forget to take the receipt of the iTunes card because we we do have to scan that uh, receipt that the uh, we have to register this receipt under your name that you are making this payment by your own and you are a genuine person, okay? So for that reason, you just make sure that you take receipt of that card. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, there's nobody at the red. Uh, grab, that, when you, uh, grab that card. For, uh, just take that card and uh, go back to the your car and just let me know that I am in my car and I will give you the further information that what you want to do. But meanwhile, you have to be online with me. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. Yeah, I got these uh, iTunes cards. Uh, I need $1,429. Yeah, fourteen hundred twenty nine dollars. I need fifteen cards. Fourteen a hundred dollars each and then one for twenty nine dollars. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, you too, have a nice day. Are you there, officer? Yes, I am. Okay, so I've got the card and the receipt and everything. Sorry? I have all the the 15 cards, 1,400 cards, and then one card for $29 and my receipt. Okay. Now, you do one thing. Uh, sit back in your car and let me know. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Sit back in your car and let me know. I can give you the further information that what you want to do. I got to, like... So I walk back to the car. Yeah. Sorry? I'm on my way back to the car, but it's going to take a couple minutes to okay. get there. Just, just please be seated on your car and let me know that I am in my car, and I can give you the further information that what you want to do. Okay? Okay, hold on. Okay, uh, I'm in my car now, seated. What do I do next? Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just transferring this line to the accounting department, okay? And he will going to give you the further information that what you want to do with this card, okay? So please be on hold for a moment. I'm just transferring this line to the accounting department. I just want to thank you for all your help. Sorry? I just want to thank you for all your help. You've been very gracious. Sorry, I can't hear you, sir. I see you need to thank you for all your help in, in regard to the matter, officer. Okay, no problem. I'm just transferring this time to the accounting department. You can have a word with him, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, so please don't hold for a moment. Don't disconnect this line. Okay. Hello? Okay. Thank you for holding the line. Your call has transferred to accounting department. This is officer Robin Hobbs. How can I help you? Uh, are you the same man I was speaking to earlier? No, this is officer Robin Hobbs. Okay. You sound like the same person. Sorry? You sound like the same person. What do I have to do you, with these I iTunes can, cards? You, sorry? I have these iTunes cards, the last gentleman. Okay, not a problem. Okay, not a problem. First of all, just do one thing. Um, can you see a scratch of panel beside the iTunes card? Uh, on the back. Yeah, on the back. Yes. 
Yeah, just do one thing. Uh, just scratch one of the iTunes gift card completely and make sure that you don't miss a word from that. Just scratch it properly and let me know. Okay. My, uh, I don't really have good fingernails, so it's like not really Sorry? working. Sorry? My fingernails are very short, so it's not really working. Now I can hardly hear you. You need to speak it properly. I said my fingernails are very short, so I... Okay, okay. Do one thing, have a coin, and just scratch it off, or like any other object. You can just peel off the panel properly and let me know. But I don't have any money left to give it all to them, the best money. Um, just, just scratch it off by any, any other object. Uh, let me say, wait. Let me go out yeah. my car. I gotta find something. Sorry? Sorry? I said I have to find something outside. Okay, not a problem. Okay, not a problem. Uh, once you just scratch one of the iTunes cards, just let me know, okay? I mean, I don't know, there's some leaves or some rocks. Sorry? I said there's some leaves and rocks, but I don't know what would be best to scratch it with. Um, can you just peel it off by your finger or like your nail? Uh, hey, I tried that. It's not working because I don't really don't have... I get a very nervous person. I bite off my fingernails and stuff, so... Um, like you don't have a single sand with you to scratch it off? No. Nah. Maybe it's, oh my yeah. goodness! I'm just the thing is like you need to just scratch it off. Provide me the registration codes from that. I'm just gonna register them under your name to the central IRS panel. You're following me, right? The IRS panel. Yeah, correct. The central IRS panel. Right? Yeah. So where are you calling me from? Like, what state are you in? Sorry. Yes. I'm just do one thing, mister, just scratch it off and let me know. So that's so simple. Why are you just making this case so much complicated? I not trying to, I just don't have the coin. Okay, not a problem. Did you scratch it? Like some part? Uh I haven't been able to scratch it yet. Okay, so can you see some uh, codes over there? Like some alphabets, like numericals, like anything you can see it off on that? Yeah, I see like the thing I'm supposed to scratch, but it's not coming off. Sorry? It's not coming off. Hmm. Just peel it off properly, or else just do one thing. Um, just get a coin from anybody, just get a cent from anybody, and just scratch it off. Yeah, should I... Should I go back in the store and try and find something? Sorry? You think I should go back in the store and try and find, a, like, a coin? Maybe I could borrow it from somebody. Okay, not a problem. But see to it that you don't, uh, like, uh, you don't disclose this case to any third party, or else it will create a conflict and run more allegations against your name. Right. All right. So just go faster and and just scratch it off and just let me know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. On my way back in the store, I... Not a where, problem. Where are you calling from? Where, what area? Are you from uh, Washington, D.C.? Sir? Officer? Yeah, I'm here. Just do it quicker. Please don't waste both of our time. I'm just setting up an appointment for you to the nearby tax and crime investigation unit of the IRS office. Just do it quicker or you're losing your time. You want, just let me, you want me to get to the IRS office, the local IRS office? Sorry? You want me I'll provide you? that information. I'm going to set up an appointment for you. Okay, so just do one thing. First of all, just do, as I say, just scratch it off and let me know, first of all. Let me register them under your name so that you can get some more time and get some more information regarding this. Okay, do I got to go back to the store. Yeah, just do it quicker. I'm waiting for you, okay? Just put this phone on the speaker phone. And when you are done with it, just let me know. Hello, sir. I am done with it, just okay? Okay. Yeah. What's the weather like where you are? It's pretty nice here today, by the way. Sir, I cannot hear you properly. 
I'm having to use the weather where I am. I the weather where you are. Um, just do one thing, just do as I say, please don't ask me any of these questions. I am going to answer each and every question so of yours. You are now losing your time. Just do it faster as much as you can. Okay, I understand. Officer. Yeah. You know what I think would be easier if I mailed in these tune cards? Sorry? You think it would be easier if I just mailed in these tunes cards? Yeah, I'm like, I cannot hear you properly. Can you speak that again? Should I? Where are you right now? Are you on a straw and you are scratching the heart off or not? What are you doing right now? I'm uh, walking. I just walked in the store again to get the coin. Okay, okay not a problem. So just go inside the store, scratch it off. Come inside, uh, come outside from that store and just let me know. Okay, after that we will have a word on that. Okay. We got a, we got a post office next. I'm passing by a post office. Okay. Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, just do it quicker. Probably nothing is going to happen with you. I'm on the phone with you. Okay, I know. I understand that. Please. Yeah, don't worry. Nothing's going to happen to you. You're just very nervous, you know? Okay, not a problem. It happens. I've never owed money to the IRS before. This is like... Yeah. Did you scratch the card? Uh, uh, ho hold on. I see somebody here. Can I borrow... Okay, not a problem. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, this nice man uh, gave me a coin here. Uh, I can't... I'm not allowed to say, uh, because uh, it's... Okay. Confidential. Sorry, I can't tell. Thank you for the coin. Yeah, a guy gave me a penny here, so uh, I'm going to go back out to the car now and be seated. Are you still there, officer? Yeah, I'm still here. Did you scratch it up? No, I have to walk back to the car. Sorry? I have to walk back to the car now. Are we not in the store right now? Well, I'm leaving the store now. He, he gave me a coin. Okay, okay, just come out to the store and let me know. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Officer. Not a problem. Okay, I'm back in the car now. Yeah, you scratch of the iTunes card. Oh, wait, I'm getting another call. Oh, shit. Can you hold on? Sorry? Got a problem. I want to hold with you. Hold on. Just do it. Just do it. Hmm. Really loud, well, speaking. All right. Did you scratch it off? Uh, no, I was on another call. Uh, but I'm right. ready to scratch it off now. Okay, I scratched it off. Okay. Um, can you see the verification codes over there? Like it might be X as in Zara phone, the number one, three, four, any alphabet. Can you see it, Ralph? Yes, we can. Yeah. Just provide me with that verification code from the electronic voucher. God, I'm awful nervous. Okay. Uh, two, six. Sorry? Two, six. That's from two. Sorry? I'm too nervous, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to... Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie, just first of all, just do one thing. Take one card from the 14 cards, 14 to 15 cards. Just take one card and just let me know the verification codes from that. After that, I will be just registering them under your name to the central IRS panel. After that, I'll be providing you with the further information, and I'll be providing you with the rest of the options which you can do. Okay, you're following me, right? I don't know. I'm so nervous, I can't even think straight. All right, um, what numbers can you see over there, right from the scratching panels? I don't know, sir. I'm so nervous. I'm going to end the call. Sorry? Sorry? What happens if I just end the call? Um... Hello. Hello. Yeah, what are you trying to tell me? What if I what happens if I just end the call? No 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 no. Just scratch one just scratch the one, right? 
Uh, uh, yeah, just provide me the number from that. It might be starting from like the number alphabets over there. The alphabet? Yeah. Okay. A? Uh, sorry? A? Um, just go like this, L as in Larry, C as in Charlie, number two, number three, just go like this. Okay, X, X? Uh-huh, it's uh, one time X or two time X? Two times X. Okay, X, X. T, G. Sorry? T, G. T as in Tom, right? Yeah, T as in Tom. J as in Jerry, T, J. Yeah, two G's. I know. A N A T D. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just go slow. Number two, number two. After that. Now A. A as an apple, right? A as an apple. Uh huh. After that. N is in Nancy. Uh huh. S T. S as in Sam. T as in Tom. After that. Yes. Four D. Sorry? Four. Number four, right? J. Number four, K as in King, correct? Yes. All right, after that. W A. W A as in Apple, after that. J Z. J as in Jerry, and the last one is Z, right? Yeah, F. Sorry? F. Yes. I'm going to repeat it for you. It's X, X, T, G, Q, Q, A, N, S, T, 4, K, W, A, J, F. Correct? That's correct. I All right, not a problem. Now. I'm, I'm like late for an appointment. Sorry? We have a haircut appointment right now. Um, does you want to, can you please repeat it off once again for me? The whole number, just repeat it off from your side as these lines are being recorded, and I want uh, you to repeat these numbers once more. XX. Uh-huh. TJ. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. GN. Sorry? GAN. Q2AN, correct? Yeah, GAN. S uh -huh. four D W A J Z F. Okay. And now just provide me the number from the senator card. It's four hundred dollars, right? Number in the center of my card? Sorry? Uh I don't see any number in the center. What happened? Um, I cannot hear you properly. And I don't know. Like I said, I gotta get my hair cut right now. Maybe we can do this like yeah. next time. Sorry? I have to get my hair cut. Okay, not a problem. Just do it quicker. Okay, goodbye. Hello. Hello. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello? Hello. Yeah, am I speaking with Charlie? Yes. What happened to your voice, Mr. Charlie? What happened? What happened with my what? Yeah, what happened? Well, no. I have the iTunes cards. Yeah. Yeah, you were just supposed to give me the verification code and I was just about to register them under your name. And like, what happened? Where did you get lost? I went, in, I went and got a haircut. Okay, so you had your haircut done right now, okay? Well, it's still going on. Oh, it's still going on? Yes. So you don't want to resolve this case, right? Well, I have the codes, but I mean, it would be rude to my hairdresser. And, uh, and like, uh, the verification which you provided me was incorrect. I did Can you just repeat that again for me? Well, uh, can you call me back in like a couple hours? I need, I, I have my haircut going on right now and it's very important to me. I have Sorry? A, could you call me back in a couple hours? 
Boris, right? I'm sorry. Okay, not a problem. After that, I won't be able to help you in this situation. We are just about to start with the legal procedures. Is there anything else that I can do for you? I'll call you back in a couple hours. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Charlie, hello. Hello? Yes. Yeah, am I speaking with Charlie? Yes, this is Charlie. Yeah, Charlie, this is Officer Robin Hawks. We're supposed to give me the numbers of the iTunes card. Oh, yeah, so very busy right now, yeah, though. What happened? I have to call you back. No, then you don't call me back. So, would you like that uh, I will start with the legal procedures against you? Uh, not really, no. Um, then you need to give me that verification code so that I can register them under your name. Uh, I'm at work right now, though. I left them at home. Sorry? I said I'm working right now, and I left them at home. Um, like, Mr. Morgan, can you please tell me that, have you taken that 14 cards with you or not? Or are you just so was trying to fool me out with that? No, I have 15 cards, actually. I choose 16 cards, okay, not a problem. 15. Uh, so when you want to, okay, um, like 15. So when are you going to give me that numbers? Uh, maybe this afternoon I could go home at lunchtime and get them. Um, like uh, after two hours? Yeah. Oh, okay, three at three no hours. Problem, I'll call. Okay. After three hours, okay, not a problem. I'm going to put this case on your hold for three hours, okay? Okay. And please make sure that after three hours you give me that, okay? Okay, and thank I you, Mr. Uh, Paul. resolve this case in your name. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Charlie Lau? Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes, Charlie. Can you hear me now? Yes, that's better. Is this the IRS service yeah. department? Yeah, this is Officer Robin Hobbs. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, what happened? I'm calling you back. I got. I went home and I okay. got the, the tunes cards. Okay, so just let me know uh, the verification code from first, uh, first card. First, I'd like to know what your badge number is for my record. Always not a problem. Put it down. This is Officer Robin Hobbs with a batch ID 3652201. And you, can you prove to me what office you work out of? It's Detection Crime Investigation Unit of the Internal Revenue Service. And your okay. case file number is CL21. Two two three, which I have just received today. C as in Charlie, L as in Larry. Q one two two three. Okay. Okay. Um, so just now, uh, just provide me with the uh, uh, one card verification code, the first card. Okay. X yeah. X B B. Uh huh. Sorry. B B. Um, I cannot understand. Like, do I like X as in X-ray, X as in X-ray, number two, number five, like that? Uh, X as in X-ray, X as in X-ray, mm -hmm. B as in boy, B as in boy, 2376JN72WLFS. 2376? Right. Sorry, it's 2376 after two, that. 2376 JN72WLFS. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I'm going to repeat the whole number once again. Wait, I, I got somebody's at my door a second. Hold on a second. Please. Can you hold it? Not a problem. I got a. Can you call back later? I I uh, uh oh. And just a moment, just uh, just repeat the number once again for me. Okay, very quickly. Uh, X X okay. B B uh -huh. two three uh -huh. seven six 
J N seven two W L F S. Okay. okay. Please call back later. Okay. Um, okay, not a problem. Okay, bye. Hello. 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 You Mr. Lowe? Charlie Lau, yes. Sorry? Yes, this is Charlie Lau. All right, sir. This is, uh, I'm calling from the Internal Revenue Services uh -huh. regarding your case. Okay. All right, uh, have you done with your work right now, correct? What, what was that? Sorry. So are you ready to provide me the number? What number? About the payment. Is this Robin Hobbs? Uh, yes. No. Actually, I'm not Robin Hobbs, but I'm a junior of Robin Hobbs. He told me to call you. Oh. Uh. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. I just hold on for a moment so that I can transfer you to Mr. Robin Hobbs. All right. Just okay. hold on for a moment. Okay. Thank you for holding the line. Your call has transferred to Officer Robin. May I know who am I speaking with? This is Charlie Lau. Yeah, Mr. Charlie, what happened? What happened with what? Oh, yeah, I got in trouble. Yeah, what happened? I got in trouble at work. Yeah. Um, like you were supposed to give the verification code from the rest of the 14 guards. Right. Yeah, so you got them all? Uh, yeah, I got it. I got them. All right, so just provide me one by one their verification code, and the first two which you provided was not correct. Like, huh? That's strange. Like, uh, did you give this number to anybody else? Uh, no, I did not. Okay, Wonder not a problem. So um, just provide me with the rest of the verification code so that I can register them under your name. Okay. X, X, T, G, Z. T after that, G. Sorry, G just over for a moment. X, X after that. T, G. Just hold on for a moment. Speak it again. X, X, T, G. Huh? G Z? Jerry, right? No, G. X, X, C, J, correct? No, X, X, T, J. Uh-huh, after that? Z, 9. Um, it's Z, 9. Z yep. as in zebra, correct? Correct. Yeah, Z, 9. D as in Donald. T as in Tom. No, D as in Donald. B as in Donald, okay. G? G as in Gary. Right. Six. Okay, G after that. Six. Six. G? Six. G as in Gary again. Right. Four. P as in Peter. Four, number four. Right. Number four, right? That's okay, right. Number four after that. Right. P? Yeah, after that. P as in Paul? No, P as 4P, 6. So? 6. Um, listen to me. It's 6G six, six, as in Gary, number 4 after that. Uh, I'm not sure where you are. Give me the last, uh, give me the last 4. Uh. Six W four uh -huh. three. Sorry, six W? Yes, four three. Six W four three M. Can you repeat the whole number once again for me? X X T G. Uh huh. Uh huh. Z nine. Mm hmm. D G. D G, okay. D G. Uh huh. Uh huh. 6G, 4P, yeah, 4P, 
four P. Uh huh. Six W, four three. Uh huh. Okay, this is the hundred dollar one, right? Yes. Okay, provide me the other one. A L. Y three. A is an apple, right? A is an apple. No, 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 A as in. Uh huh. After that. A L. Uh -huh. Y three. Uh huh. M C. Uh huh. N T. Sorry, M C. After that. M C. N T. M C N C N as in no, it's right. N is in nose, T is in Tom. Uh huh. Sorry, um, um, it's M C N C, correct? Correct. Okay, after that. Um, v J. V as in Donald, right? No, V as in victory. V as in victory, V J. After that. Yes. Five five. Five five. M X. MX five six five six. It's again all hundred dollars, right? Yes. What's the weather like there in Washington today? Sorry. What's the weather like today in Washington? Um, can you please repeat the whole number once again for me? Uh, no, I said what's the weather like in Washington? I'm like I cannot hear you properly. What are you trying to tell me? What is the weather like? Is it hot or cold? Sorry? What's the weather like today in Washington, D.C.? Hello, I cannot hear you, sir. Your voice is breaking. Okay. Okay, forget that. Sorry, what happened? What are you telling me? No, I was wondering, is it is it nice weather where you are in Washington, D.C.? Yeah, it's 32 degrees Celsius. Oh, wow. That's nice. Yeah. 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 All right, I'm gonna provide me with the other number. Uh, I'm getting a little tired now. I think I'm gonna stop for now. Uh huh. You want to call back later? I'm just holding for a moment. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Yes. Um, did you got a card of twenty nine dollar, the fifteenth card which you were supposed to pay? Yes. Yeah, um, provide me with that numbers, with the okay. verification codes of the $29. Okay. I have to go now, but I'll gladly do it later on. Sorry? I have to go now, but I can give you, like, more cards later. Um, okay, not a problem, but uh, let me tell you that the first two numbers, the yesterday one which you gave me, and today the one you gave me in the morning, was not correct. Um, can you please repeat that again for me? The first two? Yeah, the first two, the yesterday the, which you gave me, and today morning one which you gave me. Yeah, so I have the one from this morning. I have the one from this morning. Yesterday got mixed, is mixed up. Like Okay, um, like what was it? Uh, like verification course. Can you please just provide me with that? Yeah, the one this morning was XXBB. What was it? X X B B B B two three two three seven six J N uh huh seven two uh huh U L U U L F S Okay, not a problem. And that was for a hundred dollars, right? Yes. Okay, not a problem. The thing is, like, um, like the yesterday one which you gave me was not correct, and today morning which you gave of X X B B two three that one was also not correct. Okay, I don't know. Do you want me to go back to Best Buy and see what the problem is? Sorry. Do you want me to go to Best Buy and see what the problem is? Maybe they didn't activate them properly. Um, no, not a problem. I'm just sure for a moment. Let me check that they are registered under your name or not. Or else you just do one thing. Have the rest of the like the rest of the iTunes gift card and just call me back till the time I'll register them under your name. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Uh, Charlie Lau speaking. Yeah, Mr. Charlie, you called me. 
Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, boy. I, I have a confession. I have a confession to make. I only had, okay. when I spoke with Officer Mike Jones, I tried to uh -huh. settle for $400 because that, that was okay. all I had. And so when I, I went to Best Buy, I only bought four cards, and uh, I stole the uh, other 11 sure, cards. You, uh, sorry, what happened? I only bought four cards for the 400. Oh, that's all I had. So I, I stole the other 11 okay. cards. And then they got all mixed up. That's probably why they're not like the codes aren't correct. Okay, so like uh, you you got um, like for four hundred dollars, and the rest of the free eleven you just stole and write that. Yes. Right. Yeah. All right, not a problem. Um, just do one thing. Provide me with um, uh, like each and every of the fourteen, like each and every iTunes card. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. X X yeah uh huh T G uh huh G A N sorry what's it X G X G A N no 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 first of all it's X X after that X X T G G two G's um T as in no 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 T as in Tom J as in Jerry T J J that's what G as in Gary. Uh-huh. Uh, A-N. Just hold on for a moment. Okay. Yeah, I just uh, repeat from it starting. Um, like X as in X-ray, X as in X-ray, number two, G as in Gary, like that, just go like that. Okay. X as in X-ray. Yeah. X as in X-ray. Uh-huh. T uh -huh. as in Tom, G as in Gary, G as in Gary, uh -huh. A as in Apple, uh -huh. N as in Nancy, uh -huh. S as in uh -huh. Steve, F as in okay. Frank, four, number Sorry? four, number four. After S, what was that? F as in Frank. Sorry, S as in Sam, right? Yes. Okay, it's A and S after that. F as in Frank. Sorry? F as in football. F, uh, F as in sleeper, right? F. Okay. 4 D as in Donald. W. 4 D after that. Donald after that W. A. Uh huh. J. F. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm like, can you please repeat the whole number once again? X X T G G A N S F 4 D mm -hmm. W A J F. All right, it's the hundred dollar one, right? Yes. Okay, provide me with the other one. Uh, X X. Mm hmm. B B. Sorry. B as in box. B as in box, right? Yes. And then B as in box okay, again. Uh huh. Five. C is in Tom. Yeah. C is in Charlie. Uh -huh. Z is in Zebra. Uh -huh. H. Uh -huh. M. Uh huh. Three. Uh huh. Nine. Uh huh. Four. Mm -hmm. V. Uh huh. Z. D. Okay. I'm going to repeat it once again. X X B B five C Z H M three nine four V Z D. 
always provide me with the other one. Okay. X R. X as in X ray, R as in ray, right? Right. G. G. J J, right? Right. Okay. After that. Four. Sorry. Four. J J. After that, four. X. Okay. Seven. Two. Uh huh. Nine. Uh huh. Three. Uh huh. M. Uh huh. L. Sorry. L. Larry. No, no, no. Before that, um. M as in Mary. M as in Mary. L as in Larry. After that. P as in Peter. P as in Taylor. V as in Victor. Sorry? V as in Victor. V as in Victor, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Six. Uh huh. Two. Six after that, two, right? Yeah. Yeah, can you just repeat it once again for me? Uh, hold on one second. Happened, Mr. Charlie. Oh, yeah, God, the, the boss came in again. I got to go. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Yeah, um, just provide me with the rest of them. Um, like, after that, you can go. Okay, I got to go. Sorry, bye. This is Peter Pimmore, 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 and Pimmore. Hello? Yes, this is Peter Pimmore, 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 and Pimmore. Okay. Yeah, am I speaking with Mr. Charlie? Unfortunately, I had to take Charlie's phone away from him because he kept using the thing during business hours, and we we just can't have that. Sorry? I said I had to take Charlie's phone away from him because he was constantly on the phone during business hours. Is Charlie in some kind um, of trouble? I just received um, like a call from his cell phone number right now. That's the reason I'm just calling him back. Like, did you call me from his number? I just took his phone away from him a few seconds ago, and I called him on the phone again. I can't okay, have this at my place of business. Okay, not a problem. Is, is Charlie in some kind of trouble? No, no, don't no. Worry. Okay, uh, no. I call him after hours, cause uh, you know this isn't gonna work okay, during I'll business. Come. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna call him after that. Okay. Okay, I appreciate. It. Charlie Loud speaking. Hello. This is Charlie Loud. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Charlie. This is Officer Robin Hobbs. Hello, Mr. Hobbs. How are you today? Yeah. Good morning. I'm great. How are you? Uh, very good, sir. Thank you. Okay. Now, like, what happened yesterday to you? Like, what was wrong with you yesterday? Well, my boss kept coming in. I got in all sorts of trouble. He wanted to fire my. He wanted to fire me. Oh my goodness. Okay, not a problem. So now you are free in the morning, right? Um. So if you can just provide me with the verification code so that I can just register them under your name. Oh, I'm on the highway. I'm driving. Um, oh my goodness! In the morning, you are on the highway. You are trying to tell me that. I, I just think that you are just making me fool for this, right? No, I'm not doing that. I'm driving. You're just taking up my patience, right? No, I'm, you are not. Oh, uh, blow the horn for me. Blow the horn for me. Okay, blow the horn for me. Did you hear it? Yeah. No, once more. Yeah, can you blow it for um, like two? Well, I, I can't because the, yeah. the people are right in front of me, and 
They're gonna get mad if I keep beeping them. Yeah, just yeah, just blow the horn for me once. Just blow the horn for me once. Okay. Did you hear it? Yeah. Just blow it up. No, I didn't hear. Well, I can't keep beeping it. The people in front are gonna get mad. Yet. Okay, just do one thing. Just do one thing. Just do one thing. Uh, make your car outside and just let me know, okay? No, I can't. I'm late for work. Sorry. We're gonna have to handle this later on today because I I can't pull over now. I'm late already. Okay. So, like, how long will it take to call you back to me? Let's call me back. <laughs> Why don't you call me at lunchtime? Looking about three hours. And I have the cards ready. Oh my goodness! Three hours. I'm like, where are you going right now? Well, I gotta work, and I don't want to get in trouble again. That'll be on like on my lunch break. But just do one thing. Just do it. It's gonna take just five minutes of yours. Just do one thing. Just stop the car, park it aside, and just let me know, and just provide me with the numbers. No, I can't do that. It takes too long because you're hearing problem. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Like you just go like the way I'm telling you. Okay. Don't worry, it's gonna be just crystal clear. I know, but I, I'm already late for work, Mr. Uh, Hobbs. It's gonna just take five minutes, Mr. Charlie. And the thing is, like, well, you just start start making this case on the words of execution. It's uh, two days that you haven't submitted a single iTunes gift card. You haven't registered a single card into your name. Yeah, I know, but. You don't understand the situation. Like, will you like when you are going to get sued by a government, by the IRS Internal Revenue Service? Like, do you like that? No, I wouldn't. I'm over here helping you out with the situation. I'm giving you your time. I'm just saying that, okay, fine, you just handle your job. You can just go over there. Whenever you are free, just let me know. And you're just providing me with the non verification codes, and you're just making me fool on and on away. Yeah? No. Of course, you are Mr. Charlie. And just do one thing, just don't waste my time and your time. Just park your car aside just for the five minutes and just provide me with every numbers of the every iTunes card which you have with you. Yeah, I, I can't because I'm like going over, I'm coming up to a bridge. Sorry? I'm coming up to a bridge, so I can't really... uh Okay, right just now. cross the bridge out. Go out. Just cross that bridge. After that, just put your car aside and let me know. I'm on the phone with you. Just put me on a speaker phone, okay? We're going to have to handle this at lunchtime, uh, Mr. Uh, Robin. Sorry? What happened? Uh, I think that we... Is like, Mr. Charlie, I'm setting up an appointment for you to the near IRS office. With a federal officer over there, you will be sitting up with him, and like he will be providing you with the rest information. Can I give him the two hundred cards? Sorry? Can I just give the gift cards to that person? No, 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 no. You have to submit the vouchers over there. The IRS office will be scanning them under your name. And they will uh, like I'll be setting up an appointment for you. But before that, you need to provide me with the correct verification code so that I can register them under your name to the central IRS panel. You're following me, right? Oh, no, I don't What's an IRS panel? I don't even know what Sorry? that means. What's the central IRS panel mean? It's the Internal Revenue Service, the headquarters of the IRS. The tax and crime investigation unit, so that I can just register them under your name and put this case onto hold for a moment, and I will see to it that an arrest warrant is not going to be issued against your name anymore. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. So just do one thing. You uh, you cross the bridge, right? Just park mm -hmm. your car aside and let me know. I'm approaching it right now. Okay, not a problem. Just put me on a speaker phone. Just cross the bridge, park your car aside, and let me know, okay? Okay, I don't think there's anywhere to park it, though. That's a, pro that's a problem. Why can't we just handle this at lunchtime when I'm free, Mr. Hobbs? I just told you that just do one thing, um, take pictures of that cards, and just email me. You're even not doing that thing. Right. How about 
Well, call me in an hour. Okay, not a problem. You call me back after an hour, okay? I'm waiting for you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, officer. Hello? Yeah, I just received a call from your side. Hello? Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, what happened? I just received a call from your side. I'm sorry. Uh, Charlie's... This is a... Uh... This is someone yeah. who works with Charlie. I'm not Charlie's not here right now. I'm just taking a message for him. Uh huh. What happened? Uh, what was that? I'm sorry. This is Scott. Scott Rabinowitz. What happened to Charlie? No, he's just in with uh, his uh, his supervisor right now. His superior. Um, just that we work alongside him. Okay. I'm just no. He said he was okay, no. from home today, so I just. Uh, I, you know, it's, it just must be another call, so. Uh, now I know he's expecting... Okay, not a problem. What was... Yeah? Sorry. Sorry? No, no, I, I worked with Charlie, and he mentioned that he had... Is is this the gentleman from the uh, Internal Revenue Service? Yeah, correct. Uh, you know, he, he no, had... Just wait, just, uh, whenever Charlie... He mentioned sorry? that he might call. I cannot... Go ahead, I'm sorry. He was just waiting for a call from I'm his just, brother, and uh, I thought I, that it, he was waiting for an important call from his brother, so, so I, that's why I picked up. But he had mentioned he had a situation. Um, yeah, he were, yeah, he, were, he was supposed to give me the verification code, and I was just about to register them under his name. Like, do you have any information regarding that? You know, I, I don't. I mean, I'm sure he did mention that he could, uh, that you might call and that he could give you a buzz back before twelve. So I, I, it's only uh -huh. it's eleven fifteen right now. I'm I, I'm sure he could definitely call you back within the next forty five minutes. Let me ask you a question. I'm having, okay, not a problem. Let me ask you a quick question. Um, I'm I'm in a uh, I'm in a payment plan with the IRS, and I I have uh -huh. I haven't made my payment in the last month or two, and I was kind of hesitant to call up. I don't really want to give you my name, but uh -huh. um, okay. I haven't. Ma I make like a hundred dollars a month. I have a. a, a, a yeah, that's I, correct. Um, I've got seven or eight thousand uh -huh. dollars due with the IRS, but um. Okay. You know, I was like kind of hesitant to. And like, uh, first of all, can you please tell me that how do you make this hundred dollars payment? I, how do they make this payment? I usually uh, I'll call it in. I'll 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 give my uh, routing numbers on my checking account, or I'll uh, transfer it online. I'll, I'll just transfer it right to my checking account to, uh, oh, you know, no. how I do. Have you ever been set up an, uh, and have you ever been set up an appointment uh, with an IRS federal officer? Like, have you ever went to the tax crime investigation unit for that? No. No, I mean, um, I okay, have not a problem. I have, I, um, I'm also in a, in a chapter 13, so... Uh, I'm a little nervous about, you know, any debt that I have with the IRS. I'm in a five-year Chapter 13, and, uh, I mean, I do have disposable income. I make 130 grand a year. I mean, I have enough money to pay my bills, and that's why I'm in a 13 instead of a 7. But I have this debt with the IRS every year, and I've built up about an eight or nine, $10,000 debt, you know, because I've had tax due in my last couple of years, so... Mm -hmm. I mean, is there any way you could take a look at my account at some point and, uh, you know, once you get... I know uh, at this point of time, um, no, at this point of time, I would not be able to help you out with that situation. <laughs> but first, let me have a word with Mr. Charlie, yes. and I have just put this case on to hold for him okay. for some time. So let me just clear the uh, like like let me just clear the case on the Charlie's names. After that, I would be able to help out with the situation. And don't worry, I'll see to it that you don't face any of the consequences, and you just make this payment plan properly, and you just clear the outstanding debt under your name. Okay. okay? I'll make sure that Charlie calls you yeah. before twelve, though. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, not a problem. Thank you, Mister. Thank you. Yeah. Have a great day. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah. I just received a call from your side, man. Who am I speaking with? Hi, this is uh Scott Rabinowitz. Um I am uh 
I, I had spoken to someone uh, a little while ago from the Internal Revenue Service. Um, yeah. And uh, no, I, I'm really just um, I'm kind of I'm kind of using a coworker's phone right now. But um, I had just uh, wondered if uh, I could speak to somebody about my account and a and a balance due. Um, I, I, my, I, I have a coworker, uh, I have someone that I work with who I guess has a balance due with the IRS and, um, he, he's involved in a little bit of a situation now where I think he's trying to get his, um, his balance caught up to date, but, um, it kind of reminded me that I need to do the same thing. Um, uh, but I, I have an existing balance due, so, um, I just, I actually just wanted to speak to someone about it if I could. And I'm like, what would you do about this case right now? Um, right. Yeah. Well, I know, I know that you know, um, you know, I, I take it seriously. I mean, I, I have to because I'm, I, um, I had mm -hmm. mentioned to the other gentleman that I'm involved in a bankruptcy right now, and uh, <clears throat> you know, it's even more like I have a coworker that has this balance too, and I don't think he takes it too uh, serious like, uh, as seriously you know, as I do. Charlie, Charlie right? Yeah. You know, like, Charles, I, I I call him Charles. So Charles Lau, right? I'm not. We're not. We're not that close. But uh, we actually um, we share this phone, and uh, it's like a company phone. But um, no, I, I just you know I kind of he, he's in a situation. What was that? Yeah, well, like right now. Yeah, I just I'm just asking you that right now. Where is Charles at this point of time? Charlie you know, just told me that he is going to call me back within 45 minutes, but I haven't received a call yet from his side. Okay. He called me and told me that he has just loosened the cards and now he yeah, doesn't he, have any verification. He questioned me about some iTunes cards, and uh, I, I really didn't know what he was talking about, to be honest with you. Listen, honestly, I mean, I don't know if he's taken it as seriously as I do. I, as I mentioned uh, on an earlier call, I'm in a bankruptcy case. Jolly's not in a bankruptcy case, so... Um, okay. I, I know he wants yeah, to, he, I, I'm in a better financial situation than him right now. So, um, I, I think his payment, you know, I could afford to pay more upfront than he can. I think he just wants to, I think his, the gentleman that he spoke to wanted higher payments, uh, right. And Charlie can't afford that kind of money. Um, but, uh. But I, I don't want to talk about his situation. I mean, I, I, obviously he has his own his own person that he's dealing with, his own um, case manager that he's dealing with. So, um, but I, I don't know how do I how do I address my situation? Um, do I do I? Okay. So first of all, first of all, can you please tell me that what is your outstanding tax liability under your name? Right, my outstanding liability altogether. Altogether is a hundred thousand dollars, to be honest with you. But I, it, it's close to a hundred thousand dollars, to be honest with you. I mean, it, it really. Now that just includes credit card debt and IRS. I the, the, the credit card debt I've been paying off. The, the IRS debt is thirty nine thousand dollars. That that's all. You know, I have other debt that totals. I have mortgage debt and some credit card debt that total about. I have my budget right in front of me because I'm in a, as I mentioned before, I'm in a chapter 13. But okay. I owe the I owe the IRS thirty nine thousand five hundred. They offered me to pay, um, you know, like four five hundred a month. I'm paying four fifty a month, and uh, uh -huh. but you know I'd I, you know I, I I have the ability to to satisfy it, but I, the last couple of months I couldn't make a payment, so. I've gotten hit with penalties and interest, so I'd like to make one payment right now and just catch up with the penalties and interest and then just make continue to maybe make my monthly payments. But I'd like to just make the one payment now to catch up with my penalties and interest. Uh -huh. I mean, if that's possible. I, I, I mean, I think the total right now is 1750 for the last three or four months, including penalties and interest, is about 1750 Okay. Okay, not a problem. First of all, just provide me with your first name and last Okay, my first name is Scott, S-C-O-T-T, and my last name is Rabinowitz, R-A-B as in boy, I-N-O-W-I-T-Z. 
I T Z R H Robin. Okay, Mr. Scott. Now you want to make this payment at this point of time, right? Yes. As long as it's credited to my account. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Not a problem, sir. So, and I'm like, do you know the uh, payment procedure of the Central IRS panel? No. Okay, uh, just do one thing. Have a piece of paper and pen handy. I'll provide you with some information. Just note that down. Okay. Let me get one. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, the thing is, like, what you have to do is, um, like, right now I cannot accept your payment by the IRS Central Panel. What I can do for you is I can just verify some... Uh, hello? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Um, there was That's some okay. disturbance. I'm like, what I'm telling you to do, I'm like, there is a specific payment procedure in order to register your bank bonds under the Central IRS Panel. In order to resolve this case, you need to get an iTunes electronic vouchers. You know that? Yes, I, I'm familiar with them. Yeah, I could. I probably get those at like Walmart or uh, right. Couldn't I uh, get a voucher? Yeah, okay. The CVS pharmacy. That's yeah, easy. Okay. Any authorized stores? So just do one thing. Um, just bring the iTunes card and just call me back and let me know that you have this amount iTunes card with you. And after that, I will be registering the verification codes from that in the central IRS panel. After that, I will be setting up an appointment for you to the nearby tax and crime investigation unit of the Internal Revenue Service. Over there, you have to go with that electronic voucher and a receipt of your payment, uh, like the receipt which you get from the cashier, the iTunes card. You have to just go with both of them and some documentations over there. They will be scan it off and like accepting your payment for this and an appointment will be set up for you within federal officer. You're following me, right? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, do I do I have it? Is it an in is it an in person appointment? Do I have to go? Yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You have to go. I will provide you with the address. Okay. So just do one thing first, and like uh, I will really appreciate you if you do not disclose this place to any other party. Just no. Just do one thing. Um, like the iTunes card with you, and just call me back and let me know, okay? Okay, and um, will I be able to get that much in iTunes? Because I've never really purchased them. Uh, will I be able to get that much money in iTunes cards? Do they sell them in those? Um, like, okay, okay, okay. Like it's uh, $100 for one iTunes card. Okay. So one thing, first of all, just, brought, just bring 10 of the iTunes card for $100 which will cost you around $1,000, okay? Okay. First of all, let me just register them under your name and have an appointment for you, okay? Okay, okay, very good. Okay, I really appreciate it. Thank you for your okay. time. All right, so just call me back when you have those cards with you, okay? Okay, I'll try to do it by 5 o'clock today, or 4, 4 to 5 o'clock today. Is that okay? Um, if it's possible, just do it. Um, if it's possible, just do it within an hour. Because the thing is, like, I have to okay. leave my office today earlier. Okay. I'm having some uh, family problems. Okay. I, I uh, definitely uh, will. Okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Mr. -bye. Hello? Yeah. Yes? Hello? Yes, what happened, Robin? Who is this? This is Charlie Lyle. Oh, my child, you see what happened. Where are you? Uh, you're not going to believe what happened. Sorry? You're not going to believe what happened. No, what happened? I was meeting with my supervisor, and I go back to my office, and my cards are missing. Oh, Somebody, my goodness. I think, I think a coworker. Like took him. I have. Then, I, have a call I just you. received. I just received a call from your friend, and he was asking me like he's going to call you back within 45 minutes and then provide you with the numbers. Like he was telling something like that. I don't know what he was trying to explain me. Well, actually, I think he's the one. His name is Scott Rabinowitz. I think he's the one who actually stole the cards. Okay. 
And he is also having some problem with the IRS. He is on a payment plan like four hundred dollars a month. I just told him that first of all, tell Charlie, like I cannot put your case onto hold for more time. You are just uh, giving me excuses that you have lost your cards at this point of time, and I don't know what are you trying to do at this point of time. I'm trying to get the cards back. I got to confront this. Um, okay, not a problem. So how long is it going to take for you to get the cards back? Well, he's at lunch right now. When he gets back, I'm going to confront him about it and ask him if okay, he's not a, Okay, not a problem. So as soon as you get the cards with you, just let me know and call me back, okay? Will do. Thank you, Robin. Yeah, but make sure that you don't waste your time more than now, okay? Yeah, I also have to get more cards. I don't know. Perfect. Okay, not a problem. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah. Charlie Lau. Yeah, Charlie, this is Officer Robin Hobbs. Oh, hi, Mr. Hobbs. Yeah, what happened there where you lost? Where I was lost? Oh, the cards? Yeah, my... Uh, yeah. yeah, the guy, Scott Rabinowitz, says he didn't take them. What happened, but... I think he took them, but he's denying it. Sorry? I think he took them, but he's de he's denying that he took them. So now what are you going to do? Uh, Sorry? I don't know. What do you suggest? Uh, you will have to resolve this case. You have to do something. If tomorrow I... What is then... How would I be able to help you out in this situation? Hmm. Maybe tomorrow I can uh, get more cards. Is this guy... Charles, can you please tell me that who's Scott? Scott is my co-worker. Okay, not a problem. Uh, Mr. Charlie, um, uh, if you can, can you just uh, get a $100 voucher right now itself? From where? Sorry? Where am I going to get that? Um, you'll be getting that uh, to any of the nearby Walmart stores. Uh, the best buy sections are there in Walmart store. Hmm. Any Loblaw store nearby to you, if you have any CVS pharmacy around you. But now I only have $100? Um, yeah, for, uh, for today, just give me the $100 voucher. I'll be just registering them and provide you with the appointment for you. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let me try and go to the store then. I'll call you back. Okay, not a problem. And then I accept your, accept your call within 10 to 15 minutes, right? Right. Okay, not a problem. I'm waiting over here, okay? Okay, thank you. Just make it faster. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, thank you. Officer. Bye. Yeah. Can I help you? Yep. Yes, how can I help you? I was looking for Robin Hobbs. Uh, Robin Hobbs is busy right now. May I help you with something? Where are you? I think that I'm not talking to Mr. Charlie. <laughs> All right. So how can I help you, Mr. Law? Robin Hobbs. Hey? I need to speak to Robin Hobbs. All right. So you have to be on a hold for a moment, okay? <laughs> Just hold on. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for holding the line. Your call has transferred to Officer Robin Hobbs. May I know who am I speaking with? It's Charlie Lau. Yeah, Charlie, what happened? I've got a, I got a card. Okay, um, just scratch it off and provide me with the verification codes. Okay, I already scratched them. Sorry? I scratched it off. Okay, um, just provide me the numbers now. Okay. X, X. T, uh -huh. T is in Tom. J, 
C as in X, C as in Charlie, right? No, T as in Tom. P as in Tom, okay. G as in Gary. Uh huh. Z as in zebra. Uh huh. Number nine. Uh huh. D as in Donna. Sorry, D as in Donald, right? Yes. Uh huh. G as in Gary. G as in Gary, right? Yes. Okay. Six. Uh huh. G as in Gary again. Uh huh. Four. Number four. Okay. P as in Peter. Sorry? P as in Peter. P as in Apple. No, P as in Peter. K as in Kilo, okay. Six. Uh huh. W. Uh huh. Four. Okay. Three. Sorry? Three. Okay, can you just repeat the whole number once again for me? X, X, T, uh -huh. T, G. Sorry, C, T. No, T, G. I'm Mr. Uh, Mr. Charles, just go like this. X as in X, ray X as in X, ray Number three, T as in Tom, just go this way, one by one, okay? Okay. X, X, yeah. T, uh -huh. G, Z. Okay. Nine, uh -huh. D, mm -hmm. G, mm -hmm. six, mm -hmm. G, mm -hmm. four, mm -hmm. P, sorry, P, uh -huh. six, uh -huh. W, uh -huh. four, uh -huh. three. Okay, and uh, this is four hundred dollars, right? Yes. Okay, so just hold on for a moment. Let me just register them under your name, and it might take some minutes. So I'll be back, and I'm going into my higher authorities cabin. So just make sure that you don't disconnect with these lines, and just put this phone on speaker phone, okay? Okay. Yeah, just wait for a moment. Okay. Yeah, you there, Mr. Charlie? Hello? That's Peter Poo Moore speaking. Hello? Hello, Peter Poo Moore speaking. Yeah, this is Officer Robin Hobbs. Who's there? Peter Poo Moore. Um, um, I just received a call from your side. My side? Peter Pim uh, Peter Pim Mall? Hold it for a moment. On this number, I'm looking for Charlie. That's Charlie. Oh, Charlie, yeah. Charlie's on break right now. Sorry? Charlie's on break right now. He's outside. He's outside, and where's Scott? I, Scott, I, I don't know. He stepped out as well. Okay, if you can just provide me with their numbers, I need to talk to them. It's very urgent. Well, you got the right number. You just got to wait till they come back from break. You know, you can just provide me with their numbers. <laughs> this is their number. Then why is the phone not with him? I just answered their phone because they're out on break, sir. Sorry? I said I just answered their phone because they's on break. And what's your name? Peter Pooh Moore. How do you spell your first name? Uh, who are you? How do you spell your first name? I need to know that. I don't even... You tell me who you are first. This is Officer Robin Hobbs. Of where? Sorry? From where? I don't need to talk to you on this number. I'm looking for Charlie. I don't need to talk to you either. You called us. All right, not a problem. I'll call you. Call him back within 10 minutes and make sure 
Gerd Harry is available on this number, okay? Thank you. Peter P. Moore. Hello? Yes, Peter P. Moore speaking. Um, yeah, am I speaking with uh, Mr. Charlie? No, he's speaking to Peter P. Moore. Charlie left for the day. He, uh, wait, he waited for you, and you never called. So he, it was quitting time, and Charlie left. He, he did leave me a message for you, though. Uh, okay, what was the message? Hold on, let me just get the message a minute. Hold on. It says, the iTunes cards were recovered. Scott Rabinowitz admitted to taking the cards. And so the cards are back in Charlie's possession. And, uh... I'd contact him tomorrow. Uh-huh. So that's, that's what the message is telling us. Sorry? That's what the message is telling us. Okay, not a problem. Um, uh, if you can, can you please provide me with his cell phone number? I don't even... I don't even think Charlie has a cell phone, to be honest with you. Um, like uh, yesterday, I just had a word with him, and there was one another number of him in which I just had a word with him. I don't know which number was that, mm. but yeah, there was some number. I'm afraid I can't help you with that. Do I don't have any? Okay, not a problem. Uh, so when he will be available back on this number? Uh, in the morning. Eight 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 thirty. Eight eight or eight thirty. Eight thirty. Okay, not a problem. And can you please tell me that which office is this? Which company is this? Uh this is the East Coast Company of Handheld Equipment. <clears throat> Sorry, East Coast? Yes. Offices of handheld equipment. Uh office of handheld equipment. How do you spell that hand and H I N D hand uh huh held H E L D equipment uh -huh. equipment company <laughs> equipment company all right and where is it located It's in Mor Morris Town New Jersey Okay, New Jersey, Morris Town. Okay, thank you so much for providing me with the information. Okay, thank you. Have okay, a great day. Okay, you too. Bye. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, Charlie? Uh, yes, this is Charlie. Yeah, Charlie, this is Officer Robin Hobbs. Uh, yes. Hello, Mr. Hobbs. Yeah, how are you doing today? Uh, yeah, it's kind of got me at a bad time. I said you kind of called at a bad time right now. <laughs> oh, my God. What bread did you lost like yesterday? Where did I what? Yeah, I just called you and uh, there was some other guy saying me that you are not available in the office and you have just left your office and you will be back tomorrow. <laughs> So I just called you right now. Oh, that's the head guy, Peter Pumar. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, Where's Scott right now? Uh, he's back at the office. I'm, I was outside taking a walk. Uh, can you call back, like, in 20 minutes? Okay, you call me back after 20 minutes, okay? I'm uh, waiting. Uh, what number? This number? Sorry? Uh, on this number that you just called me? Uh, okay, not for not a problem. What else? I will call you back. Wait for me, okay? Don't worry. You're going to call me back? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Hobbs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Peter P. Moore. Hello, Peter P. Moore. Hello? Yes, hello, Peter Pimmore. 
Hello. Hello, Peter Pilmore. Yeah, Mr. Charlie, Officer Robin Hobbs. This ain't Charlie, this is Peter Pilmore. Okay. 